Hey everyone, Sun Tinder Guy here, bringing you back another video of Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we all saw that I destroyed Missy with a bell sprout. What a mistake I feel like that's going to make make me out to be. Even though Spell Sprout wasn't even an official team member, just a one time use only Pokemon. And probably the only time I'll ever use it to do something like that again. In today's episode, you're probably wondering again why the fuck, why the heck am I in the Pokemon Center? Well, I made my decision, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the new team member. Sure, deposit, like that's what I actually want to do. And the new team member is... Da -da -da. We have Dragtini, who needs to be trained quite a bit. That's what I get for not doing off-screen training with him. Dragtini is a pure... For now, is a pure Dragon-type Pokemon. I should have really thought about that for a bit. Hopefully no one saw that. Dragtini is a pure Dragon-type Pokemon. And is known as a Pseudo Legendary Mon. Pseudo Legendaries are known to be one of the strongest Pokemon in the game's existence. With a few exclamation, with a few kind of cruddy ones. Sorry, people who love Gudra. I'm sorry. Give me a second, please. Yeah, I'm sure someone's going to be turned off by this, or fascinated that I'm actually going to do this. Okay, let me try, try the bio again. Dragtini is a pure Dragon-type Pokemon. It is known as a Pseudo Legendary. Pseudo Legendaries have a base stat total of 600. And most of them are Dragons. With the exception of Tyranitar and Metagross. Uh, Dratini will soon evolve in, will become a Dragoneer at level 32. At level 30, no, not 32, at level 30, and then he'll become a fabulous, a big, fat, happy Dragonite at level 55. Dragonite will have a, Dragonite will have a base stat, to, base stat of HP of 91, a, a marvelous 134 attack, a defense of 95, a special attack of 100, and a special defense of 100, along with 80 speed. So while it does hit incredibly hard, it is a bit of a slow Pokemon. But, there's, there's something special about this Dragonite. And before you, anyone says anything, no, it does not have extreme speed, but... It has a powerful... This... Oh boy. I think someone's gonna be mad. Uh, I gave him the stat boost of Dragon Dance. For off-screen training purposes, because all it has is... Rap, Leer, that's about all it... Rap, Leer, Thunder Wave, that's all it has. So, that's all I can really do with it. Um, Dragon Dance, though, on the other hand, is not part of Dragonite's, the evolutionary line of Dragonite, cannot learn Dragon Dance normally. If you want to get Dragonite Dragon Dance, you have to breed for it. But of course, that's not available until, like, straight up after game. So I decided... I'll show off an egg move. Um, egg moves in particular are certain Pokemon have to have the right need to have the right thing. I believe this was during Generation Two, two for three or two for five. Breeding depends on the male and the female. Uh, we're gonna go with the female first. If your Pokemon is a female, that's what you're going to be getting from that side. If you want a particular move, you need to have the male to have that particular move. So that's how breeding egg moves kind of works. I'm not going to get into like the whole thing with breeding, otherwise we'll be here for like a long time. 
Plus I'm starting to, plus this is not going to be a long video anyway. So, hopefully you all are welcoming. I'm still kind of scared to be quite honest. And hopefully you all welcome Dracteen to the group. That leaves us two more slots. I'm so worried that people are going to call my team too powerful. That's my biggest worry anyway. Uh, we're not going to go on the SS Anna today. We're going to actually... Actually, now I think about it, I should have actually gotten in my Abra. Or the Cod Abra, because we're going to need it for something. Pokemon. Should have put Abra on the... I'm not going to use... Oh, Twisted Spoon. Oh, I didn't even, th I didn't even th know that Abra had Twisted Spoon, but I'm going to be taking that Twisted Spoon. Uh, for today, we're going to be going into Diglett's Tunnel. Uh, Diglett's Tunnel is home to two new Pokemon, Diglett... Dang it, I'm doing it again. Eh, might as well do the bios anyway. Uh, Diglett's Tunnel is home to both Diglett and Doug Trio. If you're looking for, if you don't, if you decided not to choose, um, Nidoran, get a Nido King by now if you don't, especially for those who don't like Nido King, but you want to get a ground type for your team if you have a Charmeleon. No, we're not Charmeleon. Uh, for, for, by this point, I guess actually it is kind of possible to get their final evolutions. Then you come into this cave and get yourself a Diglett, or if possible, if you can find it, a Doug Drio. Doug Drio is a pure, well actually both Diglett and Doug Drio are pure ground type Pokemon. If I can find the thing for it. Here we go. Uh, Duck Drio has a base stat of 35 in HP, an attack of 100, defense of 50, and special attack is also 50, a special defense of 70, and a whopping 120 in speed. This is one of the most fastest ground type Pokemon. And for whatever reason, it evolves into an Onyx. Diglett, the mole Pokemon, lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant root. It sometimes appears above ground. And no, once again, where Diglett, Dugdria was going to be the playing Pokemon. It was going to be just basically for coverage against rock. And I keep forgetting to buy Repel. This is why me buy, if I don't, because I never barely ever use Repels and then this happens. So, of course, I'll just cut out the random wild encounters for that stuff. Come on, get out. I want to be free. Freedom, please. Please. I'll get away from these diglets. They're evil. They're pure evil. Oh, and I almost made it too. Is it a Doug Trio? Nope, it's another diglet. Um, you can kind of just train Diglett a few more extra levels, depending on its level. Did it have an Arena Trap? Okay, good. Um, Arena Trap is to prevent any Pokemon from leaving the field, so you're stuck with it, and that's kind of bad for Electro-type Pokemon. Also, does this route look familiar? That's right, it's Route 2. We're back on Route 2. Since I don't have cut, I can't go any further. By the way, talking to this guy, I think a Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. It can still. Am I talking the right one? It can still. Oh, that's one thing I've. Well, then again, I don't have any HM, so I can't really go off and explain. Talk to this guy. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. 
One tree, one for my Mr. Mine. And eh, sure, need for the for the Pokédex anyway. Abra will. Wait, who? So, if you didn't like Alakazam and you want something that's not really as powerful but still decently good than the Alakazam, then look no further than Mr. Mine. Mr. Mine is a pure psychic type Pokemon and he's called Miney. Minin. Is it Miney? Minin? Eh, whatever. Also, trade Pokemon from random people. Well, you, you can never re-nickname these Pokemon again. The only way you're ever going to do that is if you breathe. Hey, thanks. Sure, kid, sure. Okay, back to Mr. Mine. And once again, I got to find him. If you're curious where I'm looking at all this stuff, I'm actually looking at the Pokemon net. Ah, here he is. Mr. Mine is, well, currently now he's a psychic fairy, but this is the original, so it won't be counted. The fairy type is not counted. Uh, Mr. Mine has a base stat of 40 in HP, attack of 45, a defense of 65, special attack of 100, a special defense of 120, and a speed of 90. He is weak. Oh, that's gonna be kind of tough. He's only weak against ghost type Pokemon. He has a resistance to only Psychic. Um, his ability are I don't know filter. What's filter do? I don't think filter was actually a thing back then. Uh, his only ability that he has is soundproof. Unless I'm completely wrong, so then I'm gonna double check on him. Oh wow, he's a Tim, that's a good one. He has the ability Soundproof. Uh, soundproof is basically for, for example, if you were to use Growl, it will not lower any stat that has a sound based attack, so something like that won't work at all. An example, an attacking move example is like Hyper Voice, it won't work at all. Anyway, I'll see you all back at the other in the other side of the entrance. See ya. And I'm back. I'm off screen actually. Well, I ran to a Doug Drio. I actually managed to capture it within a Pokeball. Here he is. Or she is. And it's a plain nature. That's fine. Let's see, what about the Diglett? Oh, I think that's not good. I could be wrong, though. And yes, Dick. And yes, Dracini also fainted off screen. Because I was like, What am I supposed to do? I'm also, if you are wondering, um, planning for you. Planning for T to be shown this early was actually a a last second last second decision. I'm like, cause I got to go somewhere soon. Sorry, 12:45. Enter on August 26. So this episode might be uploaded before the next Let's Play or the Halloween Let's Play. Other, obviously known as the October. Let's play. Speaking of that, I'm going to have to do like... I think that means I got to do like double Let's Plays. I'm not going to reveal what the next Let's Play is for a long... Now, for like a, the next few days, because I don't really know when this ep when these episodes will be. It'll be within September, but like, I don't know what day in September this episode will be released. Heck, this might be... Not upload it till October. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know for sure. But anyway, that'll be it for today's episode. A really short one, I will admit. But I'll make I'll promise though the next one will be a bit more longer. That's an apology. 
So that'll be it for today. Next time on Pokemon Fire... Pokemon Leaf Green. I will eventually say at the end someday. We'll be going on the SS Anna and do some trainer battles. Because Dragtini needs some leveling. If you enjoyed today's video, please share, like, subscribe if you want to. Stay socially distant and get vaccinated. I'll see you all for another video. Have a nice day. Peace.